Although we may lament the way that our mobile phones have taken over our lives and made teenagers unable to look up from their palms, there are a few things that these remarkable computers in our pockets are good for. The most important thing is taking videos of super ridiculous moments and plastering them all over the internet so we can all give them the attention they no doubt deserve. From a woman in pajamas dancing on ice to the actual Pope literally slapping a lady, here are 20 most ridiculous moments caught on camera. Number 20. Woman slipping on ice. This is one of those moments of pure comedy gold. It's impossible not to laugh at this woman who's dressed in pink pajamas and a dressing gown and has an early morning encounter with an icy footpath. As she steps out of her car, the young woman spends the next two minutes in a totally hilarious disagreement with the thick, slippery ice on the footpath outside of her friend's front gate. As she grapples with the slidey surface, her friend watches on with camera in hand, documenting the hysterical affair. No matter how many attempts that she makes, the ice just keeps on sending her sliding backwards. It seems that the harder she tries to make forward progress, the more impossible it becomes. For almost two full minutes, she looks to be on a ridiculous treadmill by the front gate, and it's made all the more comical by her funny bedclothes outfit. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. So here's a picture that we believe came from Russia depicting the unfortunate fate of a young fellow who had a run-in with a fence after some ill-advised imbibement of an adult beverage. After he fell down and became attached to this fence, he then decided that this was where he would have to stay forever. So his friends laughed at him and took this picture and then put it on the internet in the fashion of modern loyal friendships. And here we are now, all able to enjoy such wonders. Aren't we lucky? I'm laughing, but I guess that means that I'm in big trouble now because I've been told that if you laugh, you go to hell. That's really going to make things rather boring, isn't it? Anyways, have you ever had an argument with a fence? And how did that go for you? As always, be sure to comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Ryan Seacrest falls backwards from his chair. Live television, well, it's a great place for blunders to take place. Everyone is usually so elegant and poised that when something goes wrong, it's generally a whole lot funnier than you may expect. Especially, it would seem, when the funny accident is happening to a famous person. This time, we're watching some nonsense go down on an episode of Live with Kelly and Ryan. This is a show which is being presented by Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest. Yes, they went for a fully original show title, that's for sure. There appear to be a whole load of balloons floating about in the studio, and you know how it is when children are in the same space as a lot of floating balloons. I got it. They can't help but leap about the room and catch them all. And so it seems to be for Ryan Seacrest. He appears to become completely fixated on a golden balloon and is hell-bent on catching a hold of it. Much like a child, he also seems to forget everything else around him as he tips backwards in his chair on live television, loses his balance, and winds up with his legs in the air. The studio audience can be heard audibly gasping while everyone runs to check to make sure that he hasn't had a seizure or brained himself or something in the process. It probably improved another mediocre talk show, though, so there you go. Number 18. Pope Francis in the Crowd Going out and pressing flesh with people is a big part of being the Pope, but even the man closest to the powers that be seems as though he has a short fuse sometimes. Never mind the patience of a saint, Pope Francis seems to have the patience of a toddler. Out and about in St. Peter's Square in Vatican City, Rome on New Year's Day of 2020, Pope Francis was shaking hands with the pious and then touching the paws of the children when he turned around to walk away and a particularly persistent woman grabbed his hand and then tried to pull him back. Hey. 
Now, of all people on planet Earth, the pontiff is really supposed to be the one giving the people an example of kindness and compassion, even when he is feeling a bit tired or grouchy. That's just part of the job. So when this woman held his hand a little bit too tightly and wanted to make her moment with the man last just a little bit longer, albeit a touch aggressive, the Pope then ended up slapping her hand to get her to release him. Not exactly the most popely behavior. He's meant to be infallible, but I don't know. This seems a little bit naughty to me. Number 17. An unusual crash for two race bikes. Motorbike racing often results in crashes and riders slide out so frequently that they're usually ready to hop back on their bike again and keep on with the race, which is just what these two guys tried to do at Magni Cours during a championship round of the fast-paced motorsport. The first racer to take the tumble watches his bike slide out and into the path of another rider just making the bend ahead. The two bikes entangled in a twirling spin-off to the side of the track as the riders attempt to cross the dangerous carriageway to retrieve their vehicle. Vehicles. It's not so simple though, those bikes did manage to get so thoroughly ensnared in each other that they were not going to let go all that easily. Add to that the fact that both engines were still running, so the bikes were twirling in a kind of dance. It's impossible to break apart and mesmerizing to watch. As one of the racers is getting more and more cross with the silly situation, his frustrated arm movements and stepping around the bikes seems to add yet another element to the dance. It's all utterly absurd and a bit like watching a French farce. Number 16. Her Stupid Halloween Decision Dressing up for Halloween is something that some people take pretty seriously. Coming up with a fun and original costume, that's something that a lot of people enjoy, but usually they really only want that costume to last for the evening. This young woman had an enthusiastic approach to her costume and decided to go as a balloon. She dutifully painted her face bright blue, donned a blue cap, and tied a bunch of balloons around her head. It was kind of effective, but the thing was that the face paint she used was just a bit too effective. That next morning when she got up, no matter how hard she tried, she could not get the blue color to wash off. She soaped her face repeatedly for 15 minutes, but to no avail, she was simply blue and so were her hands. She would be left like this the following day, and one could only imagine how long that might have taken to wear off. Perhaps she could just tell people she's trying out for the blue man group, and is simply trying to get into character. Or maybe she really loves that Avatar movie. Number 15. Monkey Takes Revenge After Being Pushed Into Pond well, some people are just proper plonkers, aren't they? This Wazek was a prime example of that. If you go around tormenting animals, you should expect some of them to at least be the tiniest bit upset about it, especially if the animal in question happens to be a wild macaque. Not only are those monkeys absolute psychos, they're also carriers of a whole bunch of different diseases, some of which are actually deadly to humans, so making a macaque mad might end in mayhem, and not the fun kind. This joker obviously didn't read the macaque handbook, or didn't think that the rules applied to him. In an effort to cheekily impress his buddies, or make a hilarious video for the internet, which is most likely given how we're witnessing this, he sneaks up behind a monkey that's sitting on a railing in front of a lake and shoves it hard so that it falls into the water. Wow, such comedy genius! The man then scampers off into a nearby building to avoid detection by the soggy monkey, but the problem is one of the monkey's family is watching exactly where he goes and immediately passes on the information to the angry macaque. What happens next is a mystery, but if that monkey got a hold of the guy, well, it could have had a jolly good attempt at ripping his face off or perhaps imparting a smattering of deadly disease. But at least the guy made the girls giggle, right? Number 14. Monkey Madness in Bali Why is it that people still get so easily fooled by monkeys? These animals are grinning at you because they have somehow managed to convince you that they're being cute when they're actually robbing you blind and offering up a platter of nasty diseases for your perusal. Hmm, such charmers. So here we have some ridiculous footage of a couple of women who are likely to require a whole bunch of different shots after this encounter with a whole troop of macaques. These little criminals will also probably lift any items that are not nailed down, they're notorious pickpockets, and will steal cameras, purses, food, and really anything. Such cheeky monkeys. <laughs> 
If you inexplicably find this sort of thing cute, feeding the monkeys might seem like a good idea, but these animals are relentless and they'll take everything that you have and still keep coming back for more. They don't really care that you don't have anything. They'll menace the heck out of you anyways, and will just not form an orderly queue and accept their ration graciously because they are monkeys and they can't be trusted. That's the end of my TED Talk. Number 13. Forgetting to take off your mask. There was a time back then in 2020 and beyond where, as humans, we got used to a completely different way of living for a while. We stayed in a whole lot, and when we did go out, we wore a mask. For some of us, the wearing of masks was horribly annoying and uncomfortable, but for others, it simply became second nature. I mean, you can get used to anything eventually. But it would appear that this particular guy had gotten so very used to wearing a mask that he had forgotten how to function without it. Taking a chopstick load of ramen up to his mouth, he attempts to shovel the food in, but the mask is in the way. The thing is though, he's so focused on looking at his phone at the same time that it takes a hot minute for him to even realize that the mask is blocking the noodles. No laughing though, remember the rule please. No fun to be had around here or you're risking fiery eternal damnation, apparently. Number 12. Girl falling in red high heels. Even though everyone in this video seems to be laughing, I cannot even begin to find this funny at all. Eh, maybe it's me. This young woman walks into the shot wearing some absurdly high red platform shoes and then promptly loses her footing and falls down. That would be funny if it were not for the way that she falls. That just looks like a whole lot of ankle-breaking agony right there. And as for the rest of her body and the awful contortions that it performs, don't even get me started. This is the kind of thing where you would expect to see her bones poking out where they don't belong, and the only thing that saves this video from being any worse is that there's mercifully a short ending and it doesn't show the screaming wailing agonies that all her ruptured ligaments and snapping bones would surely have provoked. Ugh, let's just move on swiftly, shall we? Number 11. Amazing Moment Letitia's Dress Rips Ah yes, the classic wardrobe malfunction. This is the stuff that used to fuel teenage boys' fantasies before there was all that freely available adult content all over the internet. That and rewinding and strategically pausing a particular scene from Basic Instinct or Pretty Woman or something until the videotape wore out. So here we have Letitia Grace. She had apparently been in the Big Brother house or some other reality show nonsense and was strutting her stuff on a chat show afterwards when she suffered a surprising clothing-based incident on live television, much to the amusement and mortification of all who were involved in the proceedings. As the presenter asks Letitia questions about her time in the house, he also compliments her on her apparent twerking skills, which she's very eager to demonstrate again, and she does. And that's when her dress pops open at the back, revealing her posterior, which was all but bare save for a piece of string. The presenter then attempts to help her fix the frock, but there's nothing doing. So that was that, and there were red faces everywhere and a guaranteed story in the lascivious tabloid papers. Job well done, guys. Number 10. Mom Losing Wig on Slingshot Ride this woman took a ride on the slingshot at Daytona Beach in Florida and got a whole lot more than she bargained for. Well, actually, she lost more than she bargained for. Evidently, she was a little more than nervous when she sat down in the seat as she touches her hair tentatively and seems to be anxious that her hairdo might be in for a rough ride. As the ride does begin to crank up, it then propels the people more than 300 feet into the air at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. That's bound to shake some things loose. Unfortunately for the lady, that happened to be her hair. As it flies off into the sky, she's then left hair free but still in good humor, and she and her daughter, who took the slingshot ride together, had the greatest time, and the video itself went viral. Some people didn't even mind being in the spotlight, even if it is for having an accidental syrup mouth function. Number 9. Girl Hugs a Clown That Tries to Scare Her there seem to be clowns all over the place these days just trying to scare people. This one is sitting and looking at a kind of forlorn way when a girl approaches him. 
He attempts to make her jump, but she doesn't even flinch. Instead, she goes ahead and hugs him. Now, this is not an encouragement to go around hugging strange clowns or even strange anything for that matter, but it does go to show that things are not always what they seem. Although, can somebody tell me when it was that clowns became more about scaring people than making them laugh? Weren't they supposed to be funny or at least tragic? These days, they seem to be all about menacing and jumping out and frightening people. Let's try to figure this clowning conundrum out in the comments section down below, shall we? I'd really like to get to the bottom of this particular mystery. Tell me, are you scared of clowns? And really, why? Number 8. Boyfriend runs away after his girlfriend catches a bride's bouquet. Look at this funny joker. He's a scallywag now, isn't he? As the bride launches her bouquet into the air in the way that brides are wont to do, all the unmarried women then line up behind her and try to catch it. This is either a mortifying display of a woman's subjugation, clue it is, or it's a fun tradition that doesn't say anything about cultural pressure or the patriarchy. And as it goes, lots of people still take part in this old tradition when at weddings, with the idea that whichever woman catches the flying bouquet will then be the next one to get married. So you can see the funny, funny joke that her boyfriend made when he saw this woman catching the flowers. He then legs it across the lawn as if sprinting for his life. Oh boy, what a funny guy. Number 7. Homeowner fights neighbors off his yard with a garden hose. Oh, come on now, you should play nice. Whatever happened to love thy neighbor? There do seem to be a rather lot of people out there with some quite severe anger management issues, especially when it comes to neighborly tolerance. Now, there are many ways of expressing your displeasure. You can write a letter of complaint, you could have a big old Barney, or even exact some kind of low-key revenge. However, your expression should probably be approximately equal to the general irritation that you felt in the first place. Get the hell out of this yard. So just what level of displeasure a person is expressing when they feel compelled to attack their neighbor with a hose pipe? Well, that's anybody's guess. But this is the kind of insane reaction that's going to get your ass thrown in jail. Okay, so the woman has come over onto this guy's lawn to shout about some poorly expressed grievance, and she just keeps telling him what an a-hole he is. So he gets his hose out and sprays her violently in the face. Now, really, there was no need for that. That, now was there? And while it's not necessary to sit around singing kumbaya with your neighbors, surely we can find a middle ground between physical violence and love-ins. Can't we all just get along? Number 6. Dolphin Bites Child Ah, dolphins. They're so friendly and cute now, aren't they? Every little girl's favorite. Except that despite their appearance, we all know that dolphins are actually psychos. They're clever and like nothing more than to work together to create a whole bunch of carnage. Even sharks know that they should be afraid of dolphins. So why in the world are we all hell-bent on dangling little girls in front of these smiling assassins? It should come as no surprise when they occasionally have a quick nibble. This little girl's illusions were thoroughly shattered when feeding the dolphins at SeaWorld's Dolphin Cove. The eight-year-old girl was handing out food when one dolphin grabbed a hold of her arm and almost dragged her into the water. As she held a bowl of food aloft exactly as she had been told not to do, the dolphin leapt up and took the little girl's arm along with the dish. In this case, she was lucky that she walked away with just the bite marks rather than a missing limb or even worse. Sharks do know the score when it comes to dolphins and will avoid them as much as they possibly can, and if they're unfortunate enough to have a close encounter with a dolphin gang, a shark will likely beat a hasty retreat as soon as the first snouts have begun swinging. They know the truth about these maniac mammals, even if we, as humans, refuse to see it. Number 5. Jimmy Anderson hit himself in the nose while playing golf. Now, here we have a 20-second clip that we're going to show you over and over and over again for the full segment, so I'd better come up with something good to say about it all. Hat and I, or this is going to get pretty boring pretty quickly. This teeny tiny snippet of video had been doing the rounds because of the unfortunate golfer in the footage being none other than England cricketer James Anderson. He should probably stick to cricket though, because it seems as if golf may not be his strong suit. 
He hits the ball without too much problem, that much is true, but his aim is total garbage as he hits a tree and that ball immediately comes flying back and smacks him right in the nose. There was no footage of the after effects of that wallop, but you can only imagine that it probably made a little bit of a mess. Aren't there rules about playing golf in the woods though? Surely this is a pretty silly place for the sport, what with all the ricochet potential and hundreds and hundreds of trees. Ah well, just because you're good at something doesn't automatically mean that you have a whole lot else going on inside your noggin now does it. And he's probably functioning on even fewer brain cells since taking that ball to the face. Ah, poor chap. Number 4. Seven Person Speedboat Smash while I've never actually taken a speedboat ride, I spend all of my time in a dark room, staring at a screen, so that you can watch such thrilling videos as this one. But I always thought that speedboats looked kind of fun. Now though, I'm not so sure. This footage shows a group of people going very fast in a speedboat on a lake in the Ozarks in Missouri. They're all rather unnecessarily scantily clad, if you ask me. It seems neither practical nor comfortable to wear a teeny weeny bikini while hurtling along at such great speeds. But of course, as I mentioned, I know nothing about the ins and outs of speedboat etiquette, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, after we watch the stony faced expressions of the beach wear sporting group, they really don't look to be having a whole lot of fun, do they? There's a sudden and surprising halt to the proceedings when everyone is thrown about and possibly the recipients of head injuries. What a fun day out on the water. Number 3. Girl gets excited over pizza, then drops it and feels sad. Really? This is what we're calling entertainment these days? <laughs> Stop the bus, because I want to get off of it now, please. Here you are, one of the worst things that I've seen all week, and that's really saying something. Here's a 12 second clip of a girl eating a slice of pizza in a particularly sloppy way. Yes, she is kind of excited about it, even though it looks like a pretty average thing, if not rubbish piece of pizza. So there she is making a fuss, showing all the internet the food slopping about inside of her face. Seriously, there are no table manners on display here at all. And then lo and behold, she drops it. Then in a manner that only the internet could find funny or charming or cute or indeed any way entertaining at all, she picks it up again and just keeps on eating. What a thrill ride this video is. And no doubt we're making you watch it over and over and over and over and over again. Look at all that food smushing about in her mouth. Ugh. I'm so sorry, but this is the sort of thing that all the internet-y people are demanding these days. No, we don't require anything with a thought process or even an idea or even a sense of humor. Just show us a girl eating a slice of pizza and even managing to do that pretty poorly and we're all beside ourselves with excitement. Ah, such deep joy. What a great world it is. And we found a way to use the extraordinary wonder of the internet for such useful and life-affirming things, haven't we? We should all be very proud of ourselves. Number 2. Hood Bowling Next up, we have a lesson in how not to bowl. You can hear the lanes screaming as these guys lob their bowling balls at the boards. In another tiny little video clip, a couple of guys chuck bowling balls in an approximate direction towards the pins, but in a completely unusual and kind of hazardous style. It's all well and good expressing yourself in your own unique way. You know, you do. But when it comes to bowling, there are some standard procedures and etiquette that are usually followed. The suggested way to bowl a massive heavy ball is to aim low and, you know, you want the ball to roll down the lane because after all, this is not baseball. You are not launching the bowling ball into the air, or you shouldn't be, unless something is going at least a little bit wrong. So who knows what the actual heck is occurring here. These maniacs are hurtling those balls all over the show and it's getting very dangerous indeed. The final ball that we see launch takes out the television screen above the lane as well. Such entertainment. Number 1. Man slips and falls awkwardly from cliff into water. And now, finally for your eyeballs, we have a video that's a full 10 seconds long. You lucky, lucky things. This guy is balancing on top of a rock high above the sea below, while a bunch of his friends seem to be hanging around in the sunshine. All is well and good, and then he steps forwards in a move to leap from the edge and into the water, but loses his footing, slips, and takes a tumble off the drop. 
It's nothing short of a minor miracle that he doesn't hit any of the very pointy rocks on his way down and lands in clear water, all body parts and skull apparently still intact. This is a piece of footage that had me inhaling sharply and feeling all those anxieties. It's certainly not a relaxing thing to witness. Even this guy's friends were audibly shaken by the near miss. Please don't try this one at home. This Wally is lucky to be alive and intact. This is beyond dumb and you all know it. Thank you for listening to this public service announcement from the Fancy Bananas self-appointed safety commissioner. Well, what a fun one. I feel completely enriched by this experience. How about you? Did you laugh? I hope not, because you know where you're heading if you did. Which of these videos had you dicing with flames of eternal torment? Let me know in the comments down below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time in hell.